Hello there. Just want to do a quick video about the advanced measurement features on this Siglent SDS804X HD oscilloscope. First things first, I'll bring up the measurement menu here, and then I'll switch that to advanced. And I'm going to add in some measurements here. All right, so now that I've added in a couple measurements here, we can turn statistics on. And that will bring up the statistics for the various measurements there. You'll notice at the bottom there is a count on that, which you can reset by hitting the clear sweeps. It'll start over again. So histogram is available only if you have the statistics on. So you have to enable those first. That allows you to go to the setting here. You can change your count limit, aim limit, reset the statistics and turn on your histogram in this window here. Once you have your histogram turned on, then you can also click on each histogram option here and view them. You can also change it from percent to count and just click and view each of those. You can only have one up at a time and you cannot resize the window. The red dot on there is showing the most recent update on the screen and that is histograms. Then if we go to tools here, there's two other options, trend and track. Uh, the measure cursor just takes you to the measurement section. So I'll just stick with the track and trend for now. So go here to track and I'll toggle that on frequency here. And I'm feeding in a 3.7 megahertz sine wave with an FM modulation of 20 kilohertz and deviation of 100 kilohertz. So if I zoom out on the waveform, You can see that starting to take shape there, so you can actually see the modulation in that signal. I'm at, sort of at the limit with my function generator, so this is the best I can do with what I've got. I can change the modulation waveform to ramp, or to a square wave there. The other thing to note is this track setting, if you say go to history or segmented, whatever you go, go through, you can then view it frame by frame if you wish. So that is track. There's not a lot of information in the manual about track. If you go to that section, you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to go to trend here and then set that for max. And it'll bring up an auto adjusting window here. Uh, you have to shift that over slightly so you can see all the settings here and change your scale mode to manual if you want to adjust that to something you'd more prefer and you can adjust the vertical scale the vertical position the horizontal scale and horizontal position you can also go to trend config and then you can change it from sequence to interval so for example you can switch it and you can do like a half second interval or longer if you prefer and now that that's updating along i'll change the horizontal scale and that'll sort of reset and recount You'll see on the trend window here, you have current, max, min, average, and the counts. You can clear that by hitting clear sweeps. And you can also hit the little refresh button on the window here as well. That will only reset the window. It won't reset the count on the measurements. If you do clear sweeps, it does both. I try to cover every possibility, so one of the reasons why I went through the history with the track is because somebody might wonder what happens when you do that, and, you know, curiosity is how you find out. On trend, it works a little differently. So if I go to analysis and history, you can see that stopped the captures, and now my trend is flatlining. And it will update if I go through the frames here. It continuously rolls through no matter what. So that's kind of interesting. All right, I'll turn off history, go back to live. And then it resets again. So you, you don't really have a lot of control over the trend. Um, you can't stop it or pause it. Now, one thing that I would like to be able to do, and it, that appears there's no way to do it, is you can't directly log this to a file, unfortunately. I could definitely see some use in that. Okay, I think that's all I want to cover on trend, so that is that. The next thing we will go to is we will go to the gate, uh, which is under config, and we can turn the gate on and off. What the gate effectively does is it will only measure in between 
the A and B portions of the gate. So if you look at the measurement statistics here, you'll notice that it's only measuring in between those two points. It is a little finicky to, to try to grab a hold of those on the screen. So you might find it easier to use either a mouse or uh, change it via these selections over here. And of course you can shift the whole gate as well. I think that's about it for the advanced measurement settings. The section in the manual is 18.4 to 18.11. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.